Hi guys. Uh, wow. So we're here at your eighth grade graduation and you as a group were my first sixth grade class when I started working here. So it's almost like we've completed the middle school cycle together. This is my graduation with you guys. Um, I feel like I've really gotten to know each and every one of you both individually over the past three years but also as a group as a whole. And what I've noticed and what I've found is that each one of you um, has your own uniqueness. Um, you each have your own special interest, special skill, talent, passion, whatever it is. And that's what makes you so special on an individual level, but also as a group. And I've gotten to know you guys through, you know, whether coming into my office just to say hello, having long talks about whatever's going on, um, working on the plays with you guys, also having you in davening, or even just seeing you in the hallways. It's been such a treat and such a pleasure these past three years. And I have to say that you're never boring. This group, you guys are exciting, you're entertaining, and you've definitely kept all of us on our toes. We're gonna miss you so, so, so much. So you please better come back and visit us. Um, I wish you much luck and success in high school. I can't wait to see great things from each of you. Um, mazel tov on your graduation and keep in touch. It is always a pleasure to teach a student like Oren Eisenstadt. I had the privilege of teaching Oren Eisenstadt in Chumash in sixth and seventh grade. And one of the things that always impressed me about Oren was his positive attitude, his great smile, his crazy contagious laughter. I took him and another student last year to an Orioles game, and they decided they were gonna move down to the front behind the dugout. No sooner had they gone that I look up at the Jumbotron, and whose face do I see? Oren Eisenstadt, looking out from the Jumbotron over at all of Oriole Park at Camden Yards. Oren, you will certainly be missed here in the middle school, but I wish you much Hatzlacha in the upper school. Hi, my name is Rini Isser, and I'm here to tell you why Ranan Glasshoffer is a wonderful student at our school. He has the character trait of always trying to be on top of things. I know this because when he's out of school, for instance, he's sick or something like that, I'll get an email asking what he missed during class. Sometimes the email comes before I've even taught his class. This is so important in terms of being successful in life because we always need to stay on top of the tasks that we are responsible for. We will miss you next year, Anan. Hatzlacha Rabba in the upper school. My name is Rabbi Middleman. I want to talk about Rami Sloan. Rami worked incredibly hard this year and challenged himself to move to greater and greater challenges and did well. Rami, this is a midah that's going to take you very, very far in life. Keep it up. Hatzlacha Rabba. Rina Hefetz is one of our most special eighth graders. I think the Mida I admire most about Rina is her ability to live in the present. She doesn't talk about what she wishes or what might have been or what she could have done. She deals with life as it is right now. We'll miss Rina next year. Her family is making Aliyah and we will definitely miss her charisma, her funny jokes and great style. Bahatzlacha. Renee, Mazel Tov for Mrs. Longat. Renee is such an exceptional student, and having taught her for two years, it really took me a little bit of time to appreciate how exceptional she is in every way. Her notes are so clear and easy to understand. She's the friend that everyone goes to to understand the concept better or to make up notes. She comes to class so prepared, and she is really top-notch in every way. What a success. Have a great year next year. We'll miss you. Hi, I'm Mr. Wiener. Speaking about Rowie always brings a smile to my face. Rowie has wonderful Mido Togo sterling character traits. It's seen in the classroom, in the way that he asks questions and he's constantly seeking to grow and learn. And it's seen in, outside of the classroom. He was chosen as a captain from the Kabiya, and he leads by example, demonstrating positive character traits and a wonderful young man. Really, I wish you tremendous hatzlacha and continued success in all your life's endeavors. Hi, it gives me great pleasure to speak to you about one of my favorite Talmudot, Ruthie Vogel. I've come to appreciate her sharp and quick mind. But more importantly, I'm very impressed with her sensitivity and 
find me those. Of course, she'll accomplish a lot with her tremendous mental abilities, but more importantly, she will make a Kiddush Hashem wherever she goes and whatever she does. Hatzlach HaRaba, from now and the future. Every day I enjoy seeing Sam bring enthusiasm to life science class. And I love seeing him figure things out and learn about our natural world. Have a great summer, Sam, and I look forward to seeing you next year. I always used to see Samantha when she was in lower school. But I only knew her as David and Lisa's little red-haired sister. Then she came to middle school. She was in my science class. She was, anytime I needed anything done, she was the first to volunteer to do it with a smile. Samantha is also very gifted in understanding people's feelings and knowing how to make them feel better when things are not going so well. Um, anytime I would lose something or misplace something, a sweet little voice would say to me, don't worry, it's okay. Samantha, good luck in high school and I'm going to miss you terribly. Hi, I'm Mr. Weiner, and I want to share why I value having Sammy Levitt in class. Sammy is not only attentive to detail, but he's also highly regarded by his peers. Sammy was the one who was thought to have the most accurate brackets for the NCAA tournament. His peers recognized his keen ability to analyze, to critique, and to digest information and be able to apply it. Sammy, I've seen it also in the way that you have read instructions carefully and are attentive to detail. Sammy, you found the hidden instructions, and you know what? If you ever have to go out to the field to learn about Saran again and play football, Please invite me to come with you. Hatzlacha next year in the upper school. Sarah is going to be missed next year in the middle school. My name is Mrs. Ellie Melech and I teach Hebrew. Sarah has had an impact on her peers because she exhibits kindness, generosity, and a passion for helping others. This is impressive because she embodies the core values of our school and wonderful midot. Kol hakavod v'bahatzlachavatichon Sarah it's always a pleasure to work with students like Shifra Furziger. Uh, when I think about Shifra, I think about all the passion she brings to all of her projects, whether it's just a simple report for class or her science fair project or even the middle school blog. The other thing I think about Shifra is how passionate she is about reading. Uh, she has come in so many times to recommend books that I, I can't keep up with her and I wish that I could. Have a wonderful summer, Shifra, and best of luck in the upper school. My name is Mr. Wiener, and I want to share with you why I love Shimon Grant. Shimon comes to school with a tremendous desire to learn and grow. I see this day in and day out in class when his hand is raised and he's asking questions, seeking clarification, challenging, looking to find more insight. Shimon, I know this trait of seeking to learn and grow, conquer new fields, will serve you well as you progress into high school. Shimon, I wish you tremendous atzlacha, and you may, mer and may, may you merit to learn and learn and learn much atzlacha. Shlomit will one day be a very famous doctor, and I will proudly tell people that I was her teacher. Shlomit loves learning and gets excited every time we start something new. It is always exciting for me to see her mind in action. We will miss her next year. Good luck and have a great summer, Shlomit. Shoshana Linfield is an outstanding student in our middle school. She is reliable, kind, and personable. Shoshana published our eighth grade yearbook this year and managed to do it with very little adult oversight because I knew that she was gonna take care of the job and do it well. We'll miss Shoshana in the middle school next year. Bahatzlacha. Hi, I'm here to tell you why Stephanie is a wonderful student at our school. Besides for Stephanie's strong work ethic and organizational skills, one personal trait that strongly stands out about Stephanie is how genuine and sincere she is. Whether it be in areas of friendship, personal growth, or academics, Stephanie knows who she is and is refreshingly real. Stephanie's sincere and real questions shows how she thinks about the Nuggie in a real way and about how to apply the Nuggie to life. This trait is an essential tool for life that will help Stephanie grow both academically and personally. 
It has been an absolute pleasure to listen to Stephanie's genuine thoughts and questions in class throughout the year. Stephanie, have a great summer and enjoy starting high school next year. I am here today to talk about Yael Sullivan. Yael has made a big impression on all of us at the Hebrew Academy. This was her first year and she's made more friends than I probably have after being here many years. Yael is exceptionally good at reading people's personalities and is able to figure out what to say and who to say it to. We wish Yael much Hatzlacha next year. Joey Garfield is an awesome young man and I'm happy to be speaking about him. I didn't teach him this year, but I did have him in seventh grade. I remember him for his hard work, the effort he puts into things, and his can-do attitude. I do see him in the halls, and he certainly is a friendly guy who everyone likes to be with. Yoey, Aslacha Rabba, next year in high school. It is always a pleasure to teach students like Yosef. Yosef came to class every day with an open mind and excited to explore the text we were reading. He consistently added to the historical context of our works, and I was so impressed with his ability to recall facts about every time period from ancient Rome to World War II. I hope you have a wonderful summer, and good luck to you next year in the upper school. My name is Mr. Branda, and I had the pleasure of working with Yoni in sixth and seventh grade. Uh, one of the clearest memories that I have of Yoni is of him checking his homework at the beginning of class. He'd scan through the post-it answers and then start saying things like, uh, you know, the answer to number 12, that's, that's just not possible. No, that answer is totally ridiculous. And then what I loved was the discussion that followed in class and the struggle to make sense of why anyone would ever want to know the circumference of a flower pot. Thanks for the memories, Yoni and good luck next year. It is always a pleasure to teach a student like Zach Wolf. When I taught Zach in the seventh grade, I remember that he was always excited to learn, thoughtful, caring, and always included the other students. On the basketball court, I saw another side of Zach. He was aggressive, a great leader, and a wonderful basketball player. Have a great summer, and good luck in the upper school.